Right, so we're going to look now at a little bit of working on the floor against kicks and stamps, which is an, um, an expression of low acrobatics. So remember, low acrobatics can be done for health, because it's good to, to move around on the floor, it frees up our movement, um, it's very natural, it's very good for us. It can be done for self-defense, working it on the floor, in grappling against kicks and, and stuff like that. And lastly, it can be done for tactical, so it can be work where we're using it to cross objects, to take cover, to, um, to move from standing to the floor because there's things to be people shooting, to hide, all of these things are tactical and it depends on what environment you're in and working in. If you're a military guy, you want more tactical, us maybe more self-defense into health, you know, it, it depends on what your goal is. So we're going to look at some of the self-defense kind of application of working against kicks and stuff like that. So we're going to look at the first one we're going to look at, and the first one I always look at is working against stamps. And the reason I do that is because A, they're very, very dangerous, but also they're ironically very, very easy to work with because the guy is kind of committed. He can't give you a half assed kick. He can't kind of just, just stamp you a bit. He either stamps you or he doesn't stamp you. So if I'm on the floor here and I'm laying down, I, can I use what that pull we have got? Pulls. Not the best choice because he's heavy. So he puts a foot on me, basically, and he's now squeezing me with his foot. What he is doing is basically, this is all a stamp is. A stamp is basically squishing me from the floor. So when his foot comes up and it comes down, boom, here, what he's really trying to do is he's trying to draw support from the floor through me. I'm just in between him and me. So at the point where he's now putting the weight on here now, he can't lift this if I start to move because this is like if you tread on ice and your foot starts to slide and we've all done it you can't lift the bugger, the bugger. once it starts to slide and you're trying to draw support from it you are kind of glued to the object in between so think of yourself as the piece of ice so he puts the weight on so this is a just the drill I want you to see what happens when I start to roll so I start to move puts his foot on and I move in away see how it draws him out it draws him out this way it extends him so I don't really want you to worry too much about the takedown what I want you to do is roll away and you see how it does have an effect on his structure ideally hands you can have them out here but if someone's thrown us to the floor is that a good place if you bring your hands in nice here this is a better place because now see how I can start using my arms to guide him out I could also use them to get in the way so if he stamps down on me I can start using them to protect my body but I keep my elbows in here so the drill I want you to do to start off with is you put the foot on I feel the weight so I want him to put weight on there yeah, squish me ah roll and extend him I don't just work with arm I work with movement there feel it then when you've done a few of those he stamps these become easier because now he's actually trying to stamp on me he draws more support from me and I'm moving and it's that that makes him fall so I'm not even getting my arms in the way So there, two drills. Start off from the pressure, 
when you feel the pressure roll, do some of those. When you're comfortable with that, snap and roll.